Mobile Fire. Old Loyalties. New Methods. This mercenary command has been a devout supporter of House Steiner for more than two centuries. Originally an armour command, Mobile Fire received battle mech support during the Third Succession War, and was one of the few units in which the chain of command passed through the officers of the Armour Corps before the battle mechs. Over the past several decades, the distinction between the two has blurred until both armour and mech is considered equal in the unit. After the recent formation of the Lyran Alliance, Mobile Fire sent an immediate pledge of loyalty to Catherine Steiner Davion, with many pro-victor forces still remaining in the Ark Royal Defence Cordon and facing a lack of loyal support in the mercenary ranks, Catherine moved Mobile Fire from its periphery post closer to the clan occupation zone and the Lyran capital of Tharkad. She's also authorised and delivered several refit packages to the unit, giving it an above-average technology rating. Mobile Fire uses an all-purpose grey and green camouflage pattern for its ground-based machines and a grey and blue pattern for its aerospace craft. The regimental insignia is a lit torch set against a black oval field. Dragoons rating C-. Officers. Lieutenant Colonel Donald Moore can trace a distant relationship to the Steiner family. Traditionally, a Moore has commanded Mobile Fire, but a lengthy gap between generations forced the previous commander to name his cousin, Fred Laurentson, as commanding officer until Donald is prepared to take command. Tactics. Mobile Fire divides its forces into autonomous armor mech combinations that specialize in different tactics. First Division, first mech and armor battalions, concentrates on speed and stealth, using hit and fade tactics to devastating effect. Second Division prefers low visibility combat such as night operations, heavy fog or rain, and limiting terrain where a glimpse of an enemy mech is all one has to work with. Third Division is adept at defense missions, particularly city defense. Mobile Fire Regiment Regular Reliable, CO Armor Commander Colonel Fred Laurentson, 1st Battalion Major Angela Davies, 2nd Battalion Major Theodore Jacobs, 3rd Battalion Major Paul Moore. Each of Mobile Fire's three armor battalions contains a mix of hovercraft, wheeled, and tracked vehicles. Average weight varies from one lance to the next, but tends to split between medium and heavy armor, with only a few light vehicles. Colonel Laurent San heads an independent command company of 12 medium hovercraft, short on weapons but fast. The unit has been upgraded to 45% with Catherine Steiner Davian's recent presentation of refit packages. Mobile Max, Regiment Reliable, Regular. 1st Battalion Major Garth Rivers, XO 2nd Battalion Lieutenant Colonel David Donald Moore, 3rd Battalion Major Carol Creed. Mobile Fire's mechs are mostly light, the better to support the regiment's heavy armour. Each mech battalion matches up with its corresponding armour battalion to form three independent commands. The mechs are 35% upgraded. Air Mobile, Wing Green Reliable, Wing Commander Major Yuri Vasanovich. The unit's air wing has no separate command lance. Each six-craft squadron is attached to one of the armor mech combinations. The squadron's flights are identified with Greek letters, Alpha, Vita, and Gamma squadrons. All favor Lucifers and other heavy fighters. 1st Security Division, Battalion Green Reliable, Infantry Commander Major Vance Redding. The 1st Security Division is composed of three companies, each of which supports one of the three armor mech groups. The Security Division's primary role is to provide base defense, but occasionally deploys in the field as watch posts at rear and flanking positions.